Welcome back. Spring is right around the corner, and that means so is graduation when our young adults head off to college. ANC friend and fellow parent Susan Morley joins us with tips for parents trying to let their college age kids spread their wings. So I love having you back. Can Thank I just you. say that? I've missed you and your wisdom so, Thank so much. You. And I like that today we're diving into guys not getting them tutors, not the, um, you know, SAT prep. Today, we're talking about how to prepare our kids and prepare ourselves emotionally, right? And I know one of the most important things that you talk about is breaking it down into seasons. What does yes. that mean? Okay, so there are three seasons to parenting, and they are the season of service, so you're newborns up to about two yeah we're gonna skip over the terrible twos that'll be a whole different segment we can yeah, do it we can do time. that another day guys <laughs> um and then we're gonna go from three to about 12 or 13 that's that decade of discipline yeah and then we have mentorship and emancipation from 12 and up yes and i have a new 12 year old and the 14 year old so that's the area i'm in yes. and i want us to focus on that today i'm going to say it again mentorship and emancipation now some of you may be thinking wait a minute men Mentor. I still want to be that disciplinarian, but what is happening in that stage and how do we transition into that while still making sure that they are respecting us and kind of doing right by our rules? Yeah, and being safe. And like, being safe. You know, we're when they want that freedom. So the first thing I want to talk about is there's a lot happening in an adolescent brain. Yeah. And it's way over my head, but this, put it simply, there's a big remodeling happening in their brain. So what's happening is that by the end of that, they'll have more internal well-being, they'll have more wisdom and insight, and that's a good thing. So that's sure. where we're gonna go. For us, we wanna begin with the end in mind by thinking about what the goal is, which is successful transition to adulthood. Right. We need to move them out of the nest, right? Right. So when we, as parents, it's really important that we focus on mentorship, meaning we're kind of coaching them. Yeah. And, and emancipation, meaning right. we're gonna be empty nesters. Right, and how are they going to be these independent adults the minute they head off to college or wherever they go, uh, the minute they leave the house? So on that note, discuss with us the difference between a conversation and a lecture. Okay, so when we are being in that mentorship role, we're no longer that uh, daily manager. We're no longer oh, scheduling everything me, for them yeah. or picking their friends or making they, not letting them do soccer, making them do swimming instead. We have to fire ourselves from that. Oh, wow. We're no longer we're going fired, to do guys. that. We're fired. And we're gonna trust that the values that we've already instilled in them is still in their heart and in their minds. So keeping those things in mind, when we're talking to our children, we're no longer lecturing. A lecture is gonna be, I'm doing all the talking. Yes. I'm probably going to be loud. Yeah. I'm gonna sound really preachy. Oh boy. I'm gonna sound like I'm talking to a, a child, not an emerging adult. And we're gonna say things that make us sound like we're so great, we're superior, we're all knowing and all wise. Yeah, are you in my house? Are you I living in my know, home right I now? I mean, it's... I'm guilty too, but yeah. it doesn't, nobody likes to be told what to do. Exactly. Nobody likes a lecture. So yeah. instead, we're gonna have a conversation. And the conversation is a dialogue dialogue, right? So we're listening and reflecting what we hear. It's a dialogue. Our tone and our demeanor oh, yeah. is respectful. Yes. And they feel that respect. So we're not going to be like, you need to do this, or you should be doing that, or why did you do this? None of that. We're going to, this is my favorite part. We're going to ask permission before we give advice. <gasps> and let me tell you real quick Whoa. what that sounds like. So it will sound like this. Hey, Christine, I read an article the other day about that can I send that to you? Wow, it's this so is gonna much take me many, respectful. many years. <laughs> <laughs> Once you do it and they respond positively, it makes you wanna do more of it. Right, right. And you get to enjoy a different relationship with your children that's very exciting and they like it too. Right, okay, so of course as parents, it's natural that we wanna protect them, shield them from pain, negative experiences. But again, as we are preparing our children to leave the nest here, um, kind of protecting them too much can actually do them some harm. Right, so my definition of enabling is doing something for your child or your loved one that they're perfectly capable of doing themselves. Yeah. And 
they need to do it themselves. Sure. And when they make those mistakes and feel the full impact of the consequences, yeah. they learn lessons. Sure. You and I have learned them, oh, right? Lots of them. And it's better to learn them while they're young and still in the confines of our loving home right. than just putting them out there and they are just on their own and don't know how to handle things. When we enable, we rob our children the opportunity to build resilience and grit. Yeah. Okay, guys, I want you to replay that tonight. <laughs> I know I will. That's so, so true. Resilience and grit. That's what it's going to take to get us through life. And, and lastly, um, where do we start with healthy boundaries? Oh, gosh, this is my favorite part. Okay, so I strongly recommend family meetings, and I have a really oh. fun way to do it. Number okay, one, me. two rules. They must be fun. Pop popcorn, play music, do something fun after. They have to be short. Oh, Remember, no lecturing. Short. No lecturing. So 30 minutes or less. And the, I have four main topics. Start with what kind of family do we want to be? What kind of home do we want to live in? Which that's how you're going to get chores on yeah, the yeah, yeah. docket, right? Um, what kind of fun do we want to have? And what rules do we need to put in place so we can have all of those things that we want? Oh my gosh, I, I'm going to rewatch this several times. You are the best. Thank you oh, for thank your you. insight, your advice. Um, we always want to keep the conversation going. What do you think about all these tips and advice from Susan? Let us know on our ANC social pages. We'd